For more than two years, the Perseverance rover team has added over 850 names for Martian rocks, drill targets, and other locations. And we're gonna need a lot more. But where did these names come from? Let's find out the process. Here in the operations area for the Perseverance rover, the team is driving into new Martian terrain every day, just like our other rover, Curiosity. I'm joined today with Tina Seeger, who's gonna tell us a little bit about her role on the rover teams and why it's important. Well, I'm a geologist who studies rocks on Mars. So just like on Earth, geologists on Mars rely on familiar names on a map to understand the landscape and communicate with each other about the rocks seen by the rovers. Curiosity and Perseverance are located in different craters, more than 2,000 miles from each other, and naming rocks in those craters after places on Earth. Curiosity just drilled Ubahara, named after a national park in Brazil, and Perseverance is studying Belva Crater. Belva is a town in West Virginia named after Belva Ann Lockwood, who was one of the first women to run for president. So who decides the names on Mars? Well, official names get assigned by the International Astronomical Union, which has strict guidelines for features across the whole solar system. Small craters on Mars must be named after small towns like Belva or like Jezero, where Perseverance is located, which means lake in many Slavic languages. Smaller features like rocks, cliffs, meteorites, those get nicknames chosen by the rover teams that are not official, but they do stick. How do you come up with the names for these smaller features like rocks? Well, in the 90s, they came up with names on the fly, and that's why you got silly names like Barnacle Bill, Indiana Jones, but now we compile lists of names ahead of time based on different themes. We draw a grid on the map where each square is a different quadrant that represents a different theme. Curiosity has used names from South America, Scotland. Perseverance uses names from national parks around the world. How were these names decided? Names can come from anywhere in your imagination. Going back to Pathfinder, a rock looked like the face of Yogi Bear and got the name Yogi Rock. This meteorite is Heat Shield Rock, which sits near debris from Opportunity's Heat Shield. Drilled rock samples that Perseverance has dropped for collection also have names like Bear Wallow, which is named after a hiking trail in Shenandoah National Park. One of my favorite curiosity targets is called Bonanza King, which is named after the Bonanza King Rock Formation near Death Valley. Here, we see an area that resembles a strip of bacon when viewed from space, so we jokingly called it the Bacon Strip. Since arriving at the site with Perseverance, we had to give it a name that fit the Shenandoah theme, so we chose Hogwallow Flats. If you could come up with a name for a rock, what would it be? I spent seven summers as the night skies ranger at Mount Rainier National Park, so I'd probably pick something named after Mount Rainier or a place that's special to me inside the park. Luckily, I got to map the Mount Rainier Quadrant in Jezero Crater, so if we drive through it, that dream might become a reality. To get the latest updates on Curiosity and Perseverance, follow at NASA JPL and at NASA Mars on social media, or take a deeper dive at mars.nasa.gov.